Three. Yo, people, it's Tifa here with Fit Bully TV. Look, Amethyst actually just walked up on us. This is the mother. I think your battery is dead. What? It keeps cutting off. Nah, man. And then this shit is blinking. It's not cutting off. Look, that's okay. Look, Rich is holding the camera. <laughs> when you're uh, when you when you block the screen thing, it goes back and forth. So if you like look at it and thinks that you're looking through the eye, it cuts off like that. Otherwise, trust me, it would just go dead. It thinks I'm doing this. Yeah. How? I'm just holding it. Though. I know, man. It's, it's a smart camera. That's not that smart. There's a problem. See, it's going black even though I didn't move it. Trust me. Okay. It was. Anywho, <laughs> back to our schedule program. Look, somebody asked me, hey, uh, you got into the Frenchie game. Let me be very clear and tell you people. My buddy who bought the Frenchies, these are his Frenchies. I'm simply partnered with them. He's like me. I didn't say nothing about what we were doing with Zara or our bullies until we had something to show for. If, you're any, if you've done any type of breeding, you know how difficult this process is. One of my buddies literally just let me know Wednesday that one of his girls did not take. He literally hashtagged me. Progesterone matters because the people he took hot shot to, um, they didn't do enough progesterone testing. They thought they could just guess. And when we send the semen, it's going to work, and it didn't. So that's another six months down the drain. And any hoot, uh, average Frenchie has a cycle anywhere from seven to eight months. Realistically, it's six months, so potentially twice a year. We got Amethyst, or Rich got Amethyst pregnant. He was all in-house. He owns both Frisco and Amethyst. Amethyst is from Canada. Uh, Frisco's out of Houston. And they're all lilac and tries. <laughs> they're all lilac and tri boys and girls. We've got one that looks relatively blue. Um, they're only what Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we're on Thursday, six days old. Going into the weekend, there'll be six, there'll be, you know, clearly a week old this week. I want to showcase that we will get into the Frenchie game and be very clear, people. I've always thought Frenchies are ugly. I thought they couldn't do shit, and I ended up meeting a guy named Sergio. Sergio has been showing Frenchies and bullies, Frenchies specifically, for over 25 years. And I saw his friend, she's a female. She's a bad bitch. And so she won, I believe, one year, 57 out of the 60 shows the ABKC has. And when he told me this dog was pulling a 25 pound plate, he puts her on treadmill, etc. I go, that dog can do that? He says, yes. Now the irony is, I spent a lot of time with Rich and his dogs, his Frenchies, and it's the first time I've ever seen a Frenchie without breathing problems. Dog struggling to get around. Texas is where we live. It's very hot here. And any dog, I don't care if you got the best dog in the world, will get ate up with Texas' son. So, I'm excited uh, because we know now that if you are in the bully game, 9 out of 10 people get Frenchies. Why? Because they have a lot of attitude. Um, Richest Frenchies are extremely intelligent. We're going to be showcasing that. <laughs> They've got great structure. I remember when the ears literally just a few days ago were little dots and now they're growing slowly but surely. They're coming right along. Um, we're learning a lot about the process of breeding both Frenchies to bullies. Frenchies are a little bit different, not completely different. All of it requires a lot of care, time, and effort. And, you know, with the team, you can really do anything. So, we've got six pups, uh, three boys, three girls. It's like magic. What Jordan win? What Jordan won with five rings. First time, every time he went to the championship, he won. This is the first time Rich has ever done a breeding. Big congratulations to him. It worked the first time. Um, <laughs> and you couldn't ask him for, for a better set of numbers to offset. There's like no offset. It's the perfect three and three. Uh, I think we've got some magic in this particular litter. We'll be taking a Frenchie to as far as I believe it can go, which is, from my understanding, extremely far, especially when they got good, good health. And we know that this is a break you'll breed, so most people are common. They're, they're, they're used to this, this dog having a lot of allergies and so forth and so on. Big thing about what makes this Frenchie special is Rich did a lot of research, and one of the things he researched was finding not just a great breeder, but uh, he took the health of the dog very seriously. And so the breeder that he got the girl from, which we know, if you're a breeder or you're into this thing, girls make up the majority of the dog's traits, characteristics, and for that matter, a lot of times their health. 15 years of breeding, 15 generations of dogs, no allergies. No exaggeration, no allergies. He'd say, he'd say, he'd tell you firsthand, Frisco on the other hand has a few allergies, nothing crazy. But we all know it's not uncommon for a Frenchie to have issues when it comes to their allergies. Amethyst, no issues whatsoever. 
great hell, short, compact, about 18 pounds. Frisco's a little on the bigger side. Uh, I believe that they need a pinky and one finger snoop based on the research I've been doing. Um, and, and clearly, you know, you just want to keep them with the right nutrition. So many other things we're going to be bringing to the table. But stay tuned for friend Frenchy. I will tell you the name of what he's got going on, but that'll come later. So stay tuned for that as well as we invite you into our brand and get into this whole space and try to give people uh, that same feeling we had and we have with having our dogs around. Frenchies are amazing dogs, and I'm learning that day in and day out. They can do a lot of things. So, T Fit, Fit Bully TV. Look how big this girl is. <laughs> Signing off, people. Look at her. These things are tiny. <laughs> Thanks, man. Hope it's good, because I couldn't see it the whole time.